We're here at the one-to-one -one oil and gas conference in London. Peter, can you give us a brief introduction to Midway Resources International? Thanks, Rosie. So Midway is a company that started about five years ago. Um, we're focused exclusively on Africa, and we're currently um, active in Kenya and Nigeria. In Kenya, we're doing um, some discovered resources there. It's a gas discovery made by Shell BP in the early 70s that we're re-drilling, and that's at a quite exciting stage because the well is about three quarters drill and we're just off, uh, off the target horizon and we're hoping for uh, a nice discovery there. Um, and in Nigeria we're focused more on oil, so we're, we've, uh, we've got a small offshore project that we're trying to develop um, and we've got a couple of big um, onshore projects where the assets are quite distressed and we're trying to bring distressed capital to them to both increase and sustain production um, in a way that will give, generate good returns for us um, and solve a problem for the Nigerian owners. So talk, talk further about this, talk about your growth strategy going forward um, and your various different projects. So, so the, in Kenya we're trying to take the gas uh, into the domestic market in two routes. One is to, um, is to generate electricity in a very strategic area of Kenya around Port Lamu, which is at the end of the Lapsat Corridor, so that's where Tullo and its partners are going to bring the oil down to the coast and they need electricity for that. And secondly, we're going to try and develop micro LNG and export that actually down the coast to Mombasa, where there's a need for cheaper sources of hydrocarbon fuels for some of the power stations there. Um, and that, that's a sort of early phase one development. We'd hope to be in production by the end of 2019 um, and, and then move on and develop further gas um, and larger resources if we could. In Nigeria, it's a matter of um, taking advantage of the many opportunities that are there, you know, what's a, a capital-starved country at present, uh, and we hope to be able to bring our expertise in dealing in Nigeria to make some really reasonable returns for the company there. And how are you funding these developments? So, so far we've funded almost exclusively from high net worth. We have, a, we have no institutions on our shareholder, but we've got to the stage where we actually need larger uh, amounts of capital. and. So we're looking to some big private equity investments if possible, um, and then we're looking to try and list the company probably in 2020 on the back of production and revenue coming out of both Kenya and Nigeria. And you're at the one-to-one -one conference. Yes. How do you find the format? I know it's early in the conference. Uh, well, it's speed dating by another name, isn't it? And um, so far we've had some long, long, long meetings and some very short ones, but um, it's quite a good way to do it because it's very efficient for, I guess, both the investors and, and for us because you can see a lot of people very quickly. So it's working well for us. Well, thanks for telling us your story, and we have a great rest of the conference. Thank you. Thank you.